All right, so all the legwork is done. Now you're, you're finally ready to launch your campaign. So I'm gonna walk through a couple of examples to show you how dynamic and how flexible SmartMail is and just how many unique use cases are available uh, to use for, for your unique business, which are really endless with SmartMail. It's really incredible. Um, to break it down very simply, there are three easy steps to sending an email campaign. Uh, first step is who, who do you want to send the email to or who do you want to send the campaign to? Second, what do you want to send them? The actual email content. And third, when do you want to send it to them? And uh, these are th three very basic uh, steps. Um, so it's very simple. I'm going to quickly walk through a couple of examples here so you can see how everything ties together. So once in your dashboard, again, email marketing, smart mail, you're going to see this screen here. Um, uh, this is fresh here, so I don't have any campaigns. I'm going to click create campaign. So step one, who do you want to send this campaign to? So, um, here you can select your segments. Uh, so I'm going to in this very basic example, I'm going to choose family members. Um, Okay, uh, just all the default settings are here. Yes, again, you can see the individual list of who's in this segment. Um, so that's it. That's number one. Who do you want to send it to? I'm going to click that segment family members. I'm going to name the seg or the campaign. So family member reach out, uh, reaching out to family members, click save. All right, so, so that's step one. Step two what to send them. So here you're, you're going to see a, a few, a bunch of templates. Uh, these are constantly going to be added and refreshed, uh, which are really useful. Uh, you can create your own layouts as well, and you can save your, your favorite templates here as well. So uh, in this case, I'm just going to create a, a personal like plain text email, which uh, I always like, just makes it more uh, personable uh, in my opinion. Um, so here is, you know, what do you want to send them? So this is actual content of your email. So I, I just you know, wrote out a quick little email here for the family member segment. I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. Uh, the good thing is as well, you can create liquid tags. So uh, rather than you can just create a hey first name. So it's obvious it's going to automatically take the first name of the contact in the CRM. So it'll put that in for you dynamic. And there's a lot of li different liquid tags you can use as well, but that's a common basic one. So, so that's, that's this email here and you know, uh, Hey, first name, I uh, hope you're keeping well, came across this article. You might find helpful. Check it out here. Hope you and the family are well. So just a quick little email to touch base with uh, some of your family members. Uh, you can also send a test email to your email address to see how it'll look, um, or preview it. Um, so that's that. So that's the email. Um, so that's step two. Next is the third and final step, which is when would you like to send this email? So there, there are four options here. Uh, in this case, it's the first option, but it's send right away. So that, that's one option. You do the email, click send, it'll send it right away. Uh, second is send on a future date. So this is very good for, for things like holidays. So if you want to send an email every, you know, Christmas or Thanksgiving or special holidays for you, you can, you can set that up dynamically and you can set it for once or have it send every single year. Uh, so that's a really useful one. Um, third is send it on a contact CRM date. I'll actually go through an example of this one as well, but, um, this is really great and you can get very creative with this. You, you can actually use uh, specific dates on a contact CRM field. Uh, again, I'll do an example of that one. And third is send it as soon as a contact is added to a list. So this one is amazing for when you have, let's say, um, let's say you have a landing page, like a pre-construction landing page on your website. If someone fills out a form on your landing page, you can set it up so they'll get an automated email. Uh, right after they send out that form with maybe specific information about the condo project. Um, so that's a really, really useful uh, option as well. So in, in this family member example, this one, I'll probably send it right away. So that's literally it. You click finish, save, and it'll send it for you the way you go. I'm just going to cancel that. So that's uh, that's one basic example. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly walk through a second one using a, a, another option. So I'm gonna create another campaign here. This time I'm gonna send it to clients. I'm gonna pick the clients segment. I'm gonna click next. 
this one I'm going to call it anniversary or closing dates, closing date email. Send on closing date for a client. So this is the CRM date option, which I was uh, referencing there. So in this case, I'm gonna actually use one of the templates that we've already created, which is the, the home anniversary one. So I'm gonna select that subject, happy one year in your home, or you know, happy anniversary in your home, however you wanna name it. Uh, and this is the content. Again, you can edit this content, um, reword it, whatever the case is. But, you know, it's, hey, first name, today's a very special day. Today's the day you purchase your home. So I'd like to wish you a very happy anniversary. Um, so, you know, that's uh, the type of email. So I'm going to click next. And this is uh, the third and final step. When would you like to send it? So in this case, I'm going to use the, the send it on a contacts CRM date. So when would you like to send it on the day of the closing date? So when there's a, if there's a closing date on that contacts CRM, we actually put in their closing date, uh, it'll, act, it'll send it automatically uh, on that closing date. And you can specify the time, um, you know, if it's just one time, if you want to do it every year. Uh, so any contact in your CRM that has a closing date, uh, this campaign will automatically send it to that person and you just set it up once and it's on autopilot. So, so those are a couple of examples, uh, unique ways to use, um, uh, smart mail. So, um, again, the, 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 the possibilities are endless, um, as you can probably tell. So if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks.